Let's talk about exponential functions, functions of the form y equals a b to the x, and let's talk about the restrictions that we have on a and b. So first, let's talk about the restrictions on our a value. And for our restrictions on a, we have that a cannot equal 0. That's our first restriction. And if we think about it, if we let a equal to 0, we would have y equals 0 times b to the x, which is equal to 0. This would give us the horizontal line, y equals 0, and that is not an exponential function. So we can't let a equal 0. The second restriction on a is that a has to be a positive number. a cannot be negative. And we're doing this because we're defining a to be the starting amount for our function, and we can't start with a negative quantity of anything. So for a, it cannot equal 0, and a has to be greater than 0. There are a few more restrictions on b. The first restriction is that b cannot be a negative number. And the reason for this is quite simple. If we let b equal a negative number, for example, if b equaled negative 2, then if we took negative 2 and raised it to the second power, we would get a positive 4. But if we took negative 2 and raised it to the third power, we'd get a negative 8. Negative 2 raised to the fourth would take us back to a positive number, and negative 2 to a fifth would take us back to a negative number. What happens when b is negative is that the b value jumps back and forth between positive to negative, and this is not how an exponential function behaves. So that b cannot be negative. Similarly to a, b cannot equal 0, because if we let b equal 0, then y would equal a times 0 to the x, which is going to give us a times 0, which will give us another horizontal line. So b cannot equal 0. We're also going to put the restriction on that b cannot equal 1. If we think about what happens when b equals 1 in our function, we would have our a times 1 to the x. And we know that 1 raised to any power is going to equal 1. We would again get a horizontal line y equals a. So these are the restrictions that we put on a and b in our function y equals a b to the x so that we will create an exponential function and not some other kind of function.